What they need at St. Anthony Hospital is a miracle. They need a lot of blood if you can help out with blood. Red Cross volunteers are asking for volunteers. If you know where any Red Cross centers are, you're asked to go there and you will be dispersed from there. Their number, 232-7121, it's there on your screen. Two children, critical condition at Children's Hospital. We had a daycare center on the second floor. We will keep you updated on injuries and the children as we get that information, Kelly. Tammy, uh, we have Oklahoma, former Oklahoma Congressman Dave McCurdy with us on the telephone from Washington, D.C. Dave, I don't think you have probably seen the pictures yet here from Oklahoma City, or have you? Well, Kelly, uh, I've seen some reports uh, of the, uh, the damage and obviously the uh, terrible injuries that have occurred. What uh, provoked me to call and to uh, follow up is that um, I recently spoke on Islamic fundamentalism to a group in New York City with a man who produced a documentary, uh, Steve Emerson, that actually reported that Oklahoma City has some of the earliest centers, who was one of the earliest centers of Islamic fundamentalism and potential terrorist activities of any city in the United States, and that there is a very real infrastructure in place for that kind of activity. And sources tell me from the FBI that there is no natural gas detection uh, in this explosion, and that it would appear to me to be very similar to the uh, MO of the explosion in Argentina uh, in the embassy there uh, against the uh, Israeli embassy. And I think uh, it's something that should be carefully examined uh, if, in fact, people are claiming credit for this explosion to see that linkage to the, the terrorist organization. That's uh, former Congressman Dave McCurdy talking to us from Washington right now. And Dave, let me just des describe a little bit of the devastation we are seeing. It is the Alfred P. Murrow building, and building that you have been in in downtown Oklahoma City. The, the northern side of this nine-story building is all but gone. Offices are exposed. We're getting reports of numerous fatalities. To you, Dave, does this sound like the kind of target terrorists would pick a federal building housing many federal offices? Absolutely. Uh, it fits the, uh, the MO. Uh, the type of explosion would appear to be that which uh, would indicate a bomb. Uh, it's, it's clear that uh, there has been a great deal of activity, uh, meetings of fundamentalists in Oklahoma City. Uh, and again, it's uh, in the heartland where the security is uh, lessened, where they're not as aware and uh, are not even uh, attuned to the potential risk and danger of this kind of, uh, of attack. Uh, I found it shocking, but uh, immediately checked with uh, some of my sources in the FBI, and I believe that there could be a very real correlation. So you, you have talked to the FBI in Oklahoma City then? Not in Oklahoma City. I've talked in, <laughs> in New York and uh, in Washington, and uh, they're tracking this now. But I would not be surprised in the next uh, few hours and days that we see a similar a linkage to the similar activities uh, in Argentina and possibly even in New York City the World Trade Center. From what you have been able to gather, Dave, is the FBI and other federal agencies treating this as a bomb? Well, I, don't, I think it's too early to, to make that judgment, uh, but there doesn't appear to be any natural cause, such as a natural gas explosion or an accident, at this point. Uh, we don't want to jump to conclusions, but my immediate thoughts, uh, having viewed the, uh, the scene of the carnage there, was uh, a bomb and the potential linkage to these groups that we have actual footage of uh, radical meetings uh, held in Oklahoma City. Congressman, the former Oklahoma Congressman Dave McCurdy, we appreciate it. We'll be in touch with you again here in the next little while. Uh, Congressman McCurdy talking about the uh, possibility that perhaps this was a bomb. Again, it's way too early to know, but the devastation does look reminiscent of uh, bombing blasts that we have seen in the past. We have Newsline 9's Dave Balut, I believe, in downtown Oklahoma City. Dave, can you hear us? Q Dave. We're at Northwest 5th and Broadway on the east of the Mara building. Let's just take a look. Uh, what I'm going to do is have Chris Cook take a look first at the Mara building and go from there and just see what you can see. 
We're, I have not seen any activity on the building at all uh, in the upper floors. I'm looking at the ninth and eighth floors right now. You see there a ladder that's extended. Uh, firefighters trying to get up, trying to get anybody out that they can see from this vantage point. Again, though, I uh, don't want to be pessimistic about this, but I have not seen a lot of movement in the upper floors of that building so far. Now let's come off the building some and take a look at some of the other areas. Chris, let's go around. First of all, down here you see a whole group of people that are, are still just looking around in shock. I mean, the, the magnitude of this is just overwhelming. It, uh, a Hollywood movie set, I don't think, could have come up with anything like this. Now we're going uh, a little bit to the left on Broadway. This would be, again, on the east side of the Mara building. Uh, utility folks, obviously utilities have been damaged. And now let's go, let's go on the other side of Broadway. Here's north. This is a building on the corner of 5th and Broadway. You see the glass knocked out. And let's keep going further north, up a block. There's the Anthony's building, and the glass is knocked out of that building as well. I've been uh, several blocks around this area, and it, it appears to me that buildings at least for two or three blocks around uh, have glass blown out. Back uh, to you guys in the studio. Oh, okay, okay, Dave Balut in downtown Oklahoma City. That's a live picture. If we can, <clears throat> if you have the control room, can show us the video from a little bit earlier. Uh, just a few minutes after the uh, blast uh, occurred at the Federal Building in downtown Oklahoma City, uh, we began showing you pictures from Tower Cam, and then this was a picture from Ranger 9 that came in at about 9.15, and we were all stunned when we saw that picture of the Federal Building in downtown Oklahoma City. The northern side of it, gone, ripped apart. The Murrah Building, it is an office building. It is not the courthouse. It is an office Very building north of the courthouse. It was just gone. And this is a picture a from Tower Cam much earlier this morning. Life. Fidelity Building. This is a live picture now from downtown. You're seeing windows broken out in surrounding si skyscrapers in downtown Oklahoma City. It is an area to avoid right now. We're getting reports of many fatalities. One thing we can point out, too, is this building, since it's not actually the courthouse building, has far less security than the actual courthouse itself. It's been a while since I've been in there to do interviews with DEA and ATF and some of the other agencies, but there have long been metal detectors and federal marshals stationed in the courthouse building across the street. This one has very easy access. It has a social security office and lots of folks. I was there the day they opened up that daycare center, and they were so proud to have their kids on site. They were really excited about that. Of course, now today, the irony of that is that probably lots of folks wishing their kids were not on site there in the daycare center. We do have some children injured. Many other people injured in surrounding buildings from the windows blown out, flying glass. We heard reports earlier on from some people injured in the federal courthouse that is to the south of this building. Uh, people injured by flying glass there, but many of the buildings in downtown Oklahoma City had windows blown out. Uh, many people are concerned about, uh, including us, about friends and uh, loved ones who work in the federal building and other buildings in downtown Oklahoma City. If you're trying to get through down there, the phone lines are extremely busy. The phone company would ask you to stay off the phone. Uh, get your information through us if you can. We're going to provide it as quickly as we get it. Cellular phone traffic is extremely heavy right now. Please stay off your cellular phones here in the metro area. The emergency crews need them. You can see, I believe this is a live picture, and that is a ladder truck from the Oklahoma City Fire Department. It looks like trying to rescue or at least looking for victims inside the Alfred P. Murrah building in downtown Oklahoma City. We should probably also tell you that if you're thinking you're going to get any better information by going downtown to try to find out about loved ones, they're not going to let you near the scene because they are concerned about secondary explosions. The best thing you can do is sit tight. This time right now is very critical in terms of getting everybody taken care of, so if you can stay home, sit tight, and as soon as uh, everybody's okay and they can get on the phones, they'll do that. But right now, uh, I don't know, they're going to try to move this ladder boom. It appears to have see a firefighter up there in the basket uh, trying to get maybe some folks uh, look in there to see if there are survivors or any fatalities inside the building. Now this is a video from earlier today. Just take a look at the destruction of this building. It, it was just amazing. When, when Ranger 9 swept around and we got that first shot of this side of the building, it just took my breath away. Unbelievable. Tammy? Jennifer, you mentioned the daycare center that you said you saw there. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we do have word of two children in critical condition, at least two, and a number injured. They're being taken to Children's Hospital at this hour. St. Anthony's taking some of the adults from downtown Oklahoma City. Boy, we've been talking about Red Cross all morning and their need, a need for blood, and Oklahomans are responding. We're getting word at the blood bank, 50th and Portland. There is a line over a block long individuals in line to give blood to 
help out this morning, and there is quite a need. Carnage in downtown Oklahoma City right now. Also, Tammy, getting some word that uh, state office buildings, uh, the state capitol is being evacuated, except for the governor's office, just a precaution, as we understand it at this point. Got that word from the Assistant Secretary of State, Pam Warren. You're looking at the uh, picture right now. Uh, this is tape from St. Anthony Hospital where they've set up a triage, it looks like, out in the portico, trying to uh, figure out which victims are the most serious, which need to be rushed into uh, the operating rooms, which uh, can be put off a little bit later. But that's the picture from St. Anthony just a little bit earlier. Oklahoma Memorial Hospital is in a code black, meaning they can take no more. We are also told, uh, told a little bit earlier that the FBI offices at 50 Pin Place, several miles from downtown Oklahoma City, have been evacuated. 50 Pin Place FBI offices evacuated as well this morning. We are also getting word now that the governor is uh, asking all state employees to go home for the day. Is this correct? Is this a security precaution? We should, we should say that we have not confirmed. There's been no official confirmation that this was a bomb blast. But uh, from some of the uh, actions that are being taken by state officials, we, we wonder whether they have information we don't have yet. Uh, the National Guard has been called in to respond, uh, which is uh, normal under these circumstances. will help with crowd control and uh, communications and such. Still don't know if anybody is responsible for this, if this was uh, done purposely or who were trying to reach the FBI but have not been able to do so. And uh, one last note, uh, Congressman Lucas's office has, uh, I'm trying to read a note here, is heavily damaged. Uh, he was apparently, I don't know, in this building or nearby, but his office was heavily damaged, but uh, I'm assuming that he is okay. But uh, his office was heavily damaged in this blast, according to a note that I'm looking at. Several of the congressional offices are in the building that is directly to the north. Uh, let's, let's get the number for the Oklahoma Blood Institute up again. There's a real need for blood, folks. In Oklahoma City, the Oklahoma Blood Institute, uh, there's the uh, number down in Norman, 3210552, if you can help down there, 1205 Haley Avenue. Now, if we can look at the okay. Blood Institute uh, address here in Oklahoma City. If you don't know where the Blood Institute is in Oklahoma City, it's about a mile directly to the south of the state capitol on Lincoln Boulevard. Blood is needed. Also, medical uh, professionals are needed. Please call the Red Cross if you're a doctor. Uh, we, want, we know many people are joining us. Uh, periodically throughout the morning. For those of you who are just with us, let us tell you what has happened. That at 9 o'clock this morning, a massive explosion ripped through the Alfred P. Murrow Federal Building at 5th and Robinson in downtown Oklahoma City. The northern one-third of the building is gone. Offices are exposed. We're getting many reports of fatalities. Let's go to Gan Matthews with a live report. Gan? Gan, can you hear us? Gan, please. Okay. Gan, why don't you, if you can hear us, okay, uh, This is Gan Matthews uh, in downtown uh, Oklahoma City. Uh, joining me is uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Stephen Sloan, uh, University of Oklahoma political scientist and a uh, internationally known expert on uh, terrorism. Uh, is this uh, an act of terrorism as we define it in terms of the uh, uh, World Trade Center bombing or Beirut? It's too early to tell who, who, who did it. Uh, it's too early to tell the motivation. Uh, at this stage of the game, if it, if it wasn't a gas leak or, some, or something in that order, if it was a bombing, it implies a level of uh, sophistication, and it is a very, very serious, obviously, uh, potential uh, that could be considered, yes. Okay. Obviously, we don't know who's, uh, who's behind this, but given the variety of federal offices located in the Murrah building, ATF, Social Security, uh, armed services uh, recruiting, could any of all of those be the tar target of a disaffected group? If it was a disaffected group, indeed, those are highly symbolic targets. It could have been a personal grievance. It could have been a more organized type. There are a wide variety of anti-tax groups also who might be involved. But that's all, as you know, real speculation at this time. And we won't speculate further until we know more. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Stephen Sloan. Uh, back to you uh, at TV9.